Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life at SAP. And today in this session, I am going to explain about the park and post. Uh, what is meant by park and what is meant by po uh, what is the, this post and uh, how this uh, document we can how to uh, view that this par park document in ABL uh, one n vendor line item or GL line item level or customer line item level how can view this document and how to delete if not required and how to change this document and uh, if we park the document at uh, which table level it will update and all those information I will cover today in this section so let's get started so for to park a document uh, like any document like uh, uh, for uh, for GL uh, document, we have to use the transaction code FV50 to park the document. And uh, in case of uh, vendor invoice, normal normal transaction code is AB60. For to park the invoice, we need to use the transaction code FV60. And in the same way, uh, uh, in for the customer uh, customer uh, invoice posting, so we have to generally use the uh, AB70 uh, to directly post the invoice. But if we want to park the invoice, customer invoice, we have to use FV70 transaction code. And now I am using the transaction code FV60 to park one vendor invoice. So I am selecting here my vendor and the date and here i can pop document okay now i am here i am selecting your amount as thousand and i am randomly i am picking one gl account here debit and the same amount and now i will select any other some cost center okay now I will go and park this document uh, for this we need to select a document here in the header information level document and we click on uh, as a park otherwise uh, we can click on also this one or uh, this option also save as completed uh, when you click uh, this option uh, uh, system will consider as a park document only so I am going and I am going here and I am selecting the park option here So here we can see document uh, 190005 company code 2000 was parked. So first uh, I will display this document. So to display this document uh, uh, select the document and click on display. So here we can see the all the information which we have added and the uh, system has uh, assigned the document number as this one 10005 and now uh, I will show you this document in the vendor line item level transaction code ABL 1N so my vendor is this one and I'm selecting the all items first so now I executed it so here my document number is uh, starting with 9, 19 and ending with 5 so here I don't see the document to view that to uh, to display that document line item as well uh, we need to select uh, here this parked item okay so here now here I can see this document here the parked line item the parked uh, icon uh, will be shown as a symbol as a, uh, in the yellow color this is a triangle symbol if you can uh, put the cursor uh, here it, it will show as a parked document yeah uh, this way and uh, this will only update in the BKPF level only in the basic uh, if you can uh, go with this document in the basic uh, level uh, it will not appear there I will show you and to, to check the table level we need to access the transaction code se 16 n okay so i will uh, first open bkpf table sorry company code is 2000 and document is this one and 2023 it the parker document it always shows in the uh, bkpf table only at a level table only here we can see the line item here yes this is the document and here we can see all the details like uh, 
all the details we can see and if you can check in the basic table it will not system will not update the basic table because uh, once it's posted only then only it will update in the basic table uh, let's see what's company code is 2000 and uh, my document is this one and uh, fiscal year is 2023 and now i am trying to check this in the basic document system is saying no value form so uh, it will only update in the header level table only which is a uh, big apf and now what i will do so here this is my park document so i want to post this document to post this doc to display this document we need to uh, uh, the transaction code is fv63 and to post any document like uh, which has been uh, the gl document or vendor invoice or uh, uh, or customer invoice which has been parked all the parked transactions should be uh, posted through standard transaction code is abv0 abv0 so i am going to access the transaction code abv0 slash abv0 see uh, this is my document and just hitting the enter and now here i can see so if you want uh, i can change the amount amount 1000 to 1100 and here as well and if you want we can change the gl account or uh, if you want we can change the cost center anything we can change apart from these grayed out uh, things so uh, so okay i have changed the amount now now i want to post this document so i can directly select this doc, uh, select this option post or either i can click on here as well so now you can see see uh, document 190005 was posted in company code 2000 okay now when i check in the basic table it will show the entry here Yeah, here we can see the debit and credit entries in the basic table once it's posted only then only it will update in the basic table now i will show you how to delete the entry so okay now i will also show you in the apl uh, one end report vendor line item report once it's up uh, once it's uh, posted how the symbol will be changed here so i'm selecting the list and here i'm selecting as a refresh option so here we can see that the document has been posted it's showing as an open item now this one and now i will be explain how to delete the parked document yeah just a second i will park one more document and then i will show you how to delete that one so fv60 i'm taking as a 200 now Okay, now I have uh, parked one more document uh, which is a uh, 19006 ending with 6. So here we can see this document and I will show you here as well in the line item level, vendor line item level. Just select the refresh. See here, we can see here this document. Now I am uh, with the just a second. In real time scenarios, the subordinates will park the document and the superiors, uh, manager or any uh, uh, account manage managers or all those uh, cadre people will review this document and then uh, if any changes needs to be done, they will 
do the changes and uh, in any case uh, in some cases uh, this document uh, i don't want to post this document then they will simply select the document here and uh, they will sell, uh, uh, they need to click on this option uh, delete part document whenever you select this document it will remove from the sap system even it will not appear in the abl one end report and uh, and and be uh, bkpf table level so i will show you before deleting this i will show you here so here this entry we can see here uh, in the abl one end report and uh, i will go to bkpf table now company goal is 2000 and the document is ending with 6 and the physical year is 2023 i just executed this now we can see this uh, document is appearing in the bkpf table now i will simply delete this end document so i'm selecting the delete park document okay system is asking delete park document yes so here we can see park document uh, 190006 in company code 2000 physical year 2023 deleted now will re refresh this vendor line item report then uh, system uh, this line item will automatically disappear from here let's see uh, just to select the refresh option so the document is uh, removed from here now i will go one time and back and uh, i will select only park documents let's see what system will show system should not show the any entries we are seeing and the same thing we can check in the the bkp of table level i just uh, select the refresh button then system will uh, uh, tell uh, there is no entry yes now i need to go back and uh, execute now oh system is still showing the deleted entry in the park uh, in the header BKP of level, but it will somewhere it will update as a deleted entry. Okay, yeah, here we can see the document status. Yeah, status as the park document which was deleted. See, okay, that's all in this section. Uh, thank you so much for watching my videos